Good evening, folks. This is Darth Ravage 07 coming at you another quick review tonight and a little bit of a splurge on rough edges and vicious cycles. And of course, our friend here is from a vicious cycle of Bay movies. He was not actually in the the fourth Bay movie. Uh, is that right? Yeah. There's Dark of the Moon's third. The name was Age of Extinction and then Last Night. Yeah, so this is from that era. The fourth big movie, The Vicious Cycle, Rough Edges of uh, a Dinobot movie version. Uh, Slog is his name. Uh, felt this guy at North Myrtle Beach uh, 2015, uh, Labor Day weekend. And with that lessons learned in The Vicious Cycle, we went down to do a three day weekend and. Uh, this guy was anticipated out any second and uh, didn't get to really stop at a lot of Walmarts or anything on the way down there. And uh, lessons learned. Uh, long story short, outside of Florence, South Carolina, it got really backed up in traffic. And we were what usually takes like four and a half, five hours for us to get down to Myrtle Beach from where we live in Nashville here. Uh, took a great deal longer. And it's like never again on you know Labor Day weekend will we go down? We'll just do it two weeks before, and that's what we did in 2016. The last time we went down to North Myrtle, went to uh, Pepper Tree Ocean Club over in North Myrtle, and just a few blocks away from there, down on Main, just above Main Street, is a Walmart. It's where I found this guy late at night, about this time of night. <laughs> it's so crazy the origins and stuff. Now, this uh, being fast forwarded to 2020, this is my son's first family vacation with his friends from school, yeah, or his best friend from school, and uh, they went to North Myrtle and stay, or they're staying south of that main street area at a place called Crescent Sands. And then this next week, when the day he comes home, <laughs> my daughter goes down so and they're doing this amidst the, the worst time ever but if it wasn't with the families they're with that are very overprotective parents like we are they uh they wouldn't know what better where to go with the rise and the spike and that being said guys you know just like slog here uh you had to have lessons learned and a simple lesson that i'm trying to reiterate and, and do and incorporate into this review is uh and things you know Things can get ugly. This is not super ugly, but it's not exactly pretty either for, you know, the movie take of the Dinobots. But uh, people are simply just not wearing their mask. I mean, good guys wear masks, guys, these days. It helps keep the droplet count from getting spread to, to help limit the spread. It doesn't, I mean, just a simple little thing like that. We got to stop listening to people <clears throat> like our you know, president that doesn't really give a care about anybody and wear the mask, wear the mask or things can get ugly. Our friend here is not exactly a beautiful rendition of sludge, but I mean, he's got some like faux plastic right here. That's bendable. Um, he's got some extreme gappage and, uh, this was one of my son's favorite Dinobots just cause it, it was not in the movie and, then, I mean, he, he he's, he's all right for Transformer. But I'm going to get this guy transformed into his robot mode and go over it. He doesn't have much in the way of articulation. He's got some front leg movement there. He's got some Autobot symbols that's very wee right here on the front of his legs. I don't know if we can get them. Oh, we got them on camera. Boom, there it is. Right there. And he's got it on each of the legs there. So you don't get his faction mixed up. Let's zoom this back out. Um, yeah, so it was kind of crazy because I mean, found this guy this time of night at that Walmart there in North Myrtle. And my son's down there as I'm doing the review for it all these years later, five years later. But, uh, yeah, it's a bit, it's been a crazy, vicious cycle, guys. I mean, we could, we can, we can beat this together by wearing our mask. Okay, with that said. Uh, also, please remember to subscribe if you like my videos. I thank all the people who have subscribed so far. And uh, so I apologize again. You know, last couple of days I've been doing an online class and doing some homework. Imagine that. <laughs> I'm not a very studious school student, I, uh, but I, 
I do want to grow my business and not have to go back to the workplace ever again. Uh, so this is the steps I'm taking to to do that, grow my business and get some organic uh, stuff by linking Instagram and my Facebook back into my other stuff to where if you go to the links below, then you'll see all the stuff I've been working on uh, there. All right, let's pause this and get him in robot mode and finish off this rough around the edge, edges vicious cycle review. Hang on one moment, please. And while we're rough around the edges, going through vicious cycles and stuff, here is here is slug, also known as the real, you know, uh, Bayverse version of sludge, Dinobot in robot mode. And while it's not perfect there, he does have some pretty nice red that pops out from the the gunmetal, you know, G1 kind of gray, I guess, that they were sort of going for. It, it's the most of the of the Dinobots in the Bayverse this movie series that have any kind of gray and red thing going on from G1. And you can see some really nasty, ugly back kibble back here, unless I've just got everything just totally misrepresented, mistransformed there. Um... Shoulders were really kind of crazy trying to get it in there and that comes out and loose. I could have swore that locked into place a little bit better. Uh, swinging around the block there. You see how it looks in the back. That says it's soft plastic. And these are soft plastic too. Rubberized plastic. I just worry about it. Either drying, cracking, splitting, and breaking over time. This is my son's version. Mine's altered and I've already painted the head like the G1 black. And I'm doing, the, trying to figure out how to get the head off of there still on my uh, Bayverse Dinobots because I wanted the Autobots to have a certain kind of blue, like, you know, that Autobot blue in their eyes. Sorry about the camera freaking out. Um, that said, uh, he doesn't have any wrist articulation except for the swivel to go in and out. Uh, the, he does have the gorilla arm thing, so the only way that you can kind of get any kind of normal th normalcy there is the wrist being sideways because the gorilla arms. But uh, the one thing I'd like to point out, that even though he's not from the year 2020, is that good guys wear a mask. I mean, come on, folks, just wear your mask. Let's knock the droplet count down. The spread spiking because people are not wearing their masks. They're not adhering to the stuff that the guidelines set forth. And unlike our president who thinks that and his task force think that this whole thing has just gone away, we've got to battle this together as we also got to battle all the other stuff that's been going on in the world in 2020. we got to do this together, guys. We cannot do this without helping each other. And then we help each other out right now at the person level by the one person wearing the mask that's going into the, the thing. I was looking at uh, the cameras today at the beach, and I see some people, you know, in around the pool areas at, at different spots at the beach. They're, they're wearing their masks. Some of them are wearing their masks, some are not. And that, if you're outside, I mean, I get it, and I understand. But, uh, yeah, we're just, you got to take care of each other. We got to wear the mask, and we got to practice social distancing and do those little small steps because uh i mean i sent my son you know with a family that we trust you know pretty uh they're like us and they're, they're constantly washing their hands and and whatnot and when they were talking about doing this trip and uh going down they were talking about uh just getting some food and taking it back to the condo and eating a lot of in the condo meals just to help limit the spread even further. I mean, I'm not saying cancel your vacation. We do got you know, kind of get some sort of stuff going in phase two, you know, to, to help the economy and stuff because there's uh, our leaders are just going to throw us back out there to the wolves until the see the steps was not done the right way. We got to do the mask wearing, the social distancing, and, and then contact tracing and the testing you know, all together in unison to, to, to find where the hotspots are, knock them down. And when the vaccine comes, well, boom, knock it out and squish it together uh, as a team. Uh, so, I mean, it's just, it's really frustrating watching the news this past week. And then with the, my son going out of town to go in and doing this, I don't want to punish him for, 
he's got he's got to learn how to live and adapt in this world it's never going to be the same and if we wait for normalcy it's not going to happen so with that being said i'm coming up on my mark about 10 minutes right now about five seconds i'm gonna spend about another minute say guys just just be safe smash that like button subscribe to my channel oh i hope to not to be as wordy or you know preachy as i have been in this review but it's all about vicious cycles rough edges taking lessons learned and 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 just following a few steps for crying out loud uh michael rapport had a pretty strong vulgar version of it but it's simple put the mask on people and that's a f explicative in front of the, you know, put the mask on you know come on wear the mask practice social distancing look out for each other wearing a mask is not infringing on your civil rights guys it's about being courteous to those people in and around you you don't want to give it to a kid and that kid go home to a smaller kid and give it to that kid and something happened to that kid and die you the same thing on the other end of the spectrum you don't want that kid to go home and get to their grandma or the grandpa or the older people and they die come on guys <laughs> we've got to do better uh we've got to we got to squish this together and you know if we don't do the steps and the precautions they're going to just going to lock us up longer until a vaccine gets done and I look going into the fall. I don't look for our kids to be able to go back to school and any kind of normalcy either. I look for them either doing half and half and or you're going to be back at home online again, folks, with your kids. Uh, and it, yeah, I mean, there's several little steps that need to get done. All right, guys, that's my that's enough of my soapbox. Here's uh, my review of Slog, Rough Edges and All. You guys have a safe and excellent weekend out there. Till all are one. Take care.